Is my career over? Plus, it's an alien resurrection. Sigourney Weaver battles those bad guys from outer space with a little help from Winona Ryder. Emma Thompson takes in a winter. He's joined by a flying robot named Weebo. Well, you're going to kill me or what? Sigourney Weaver comes alive again in Wait. Alien Resurrection. She reprises her role as Officer Ellen Ripley, who, after 200 years, is genetically resurrected. Winona Ryder makes her debut in this part four of the Alien series as a mysterious spaceship mechanic. Emma Thompson teams up. And Sigourney Weaver's out of this world in her new movie, but she says the real Sigourney is down to earth. Where do your insecurities lie? All over. No, really? I think, actually, a lot of actors are really shy. But there are no insecurities when it comes to taking on aliens. And in a few hours, it's going to burst its way through your rib cage, and you're going to die. Any questions? In Resurrection. Who are you? Ripley, Ellen, Lieutenant First Class, number 36706. Ellen Ripley died 200 years ago. You're a thing, a construct. They grew you in a lab. Was it fun to get back into it? What was fun about it was playing um, Ripley sort of uh, with this genetic crossover sort of tuned up and, and Jean-Pierre, our director, gave me a lot of leeway so I, 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 fa I found the part sort of physically and, and sensorily first and um, Winona was attached and uh, the script was, gave me um, as an actor a chance to sort of play, I would say, this sort of anti-Ripley. They've taken it out of you. Where is it? Is it on the ship? You mean my baby? She has, she has some real bite this time around. Yes, yes. It's going to burst its way through your rib cage, and you're going to die. Any questions? Was there a particular role that you had in mind that was a dream role for you? Well, I think it was Helena in A Midsummer Night's Dream, and I think I'm too old now. But um, I think my dreams were very theater-oriented, and uh, probably some of them still are. Um, was not my goal to become a, a movie actor. Are you glad it happened? Yeah, I mean, I was really lucky. I mean, as I say to my husband, this has been a great gig, you know. <laughs> well, they're curious. I'm the latest thing. Since I love to do more independent films, um, I know that the alien pictures give me sort of um, a kind of... I'm a box office help to the, to the smaller pictures like Jeffrey and... Um, ice storm. Holes ben. on topics that are the supposed domain of my department. Ben. Yeah. You're boring me. I have a husband. I don't particularly feel the need for another. Where do your insecurities lie? All over. <laughs> no, really? I think, actually, a lot of actors are really shy. So it's it's when I have to sort of become a movie star. I'm better at it now, but suddenly to become that person everyone thinks you are even for a day is like kind of a you get there but it's like um not easy to sort of shed your normal person clothing and become this sort of um phenomenon where do your confidences lie i think i have confidence as a woman and i'm grow i have co growing confidence as an actor no confidence as a politician or these other things a plumber or a, seamstress i don't know any i don't have any real skills you know for living if i'm on the surface would i have slimy hair and action so it's very exciting to discover sort of midway through your life that you really love what you're doing and that you're you know have this huge appetite for it Actress Winona Ryder was hungry for the chance to work with Sigourney Weaver in the latest Alien film, and she got her wish. Coming up, we'll hear from Winona on what it's like to share the screen with all those aliens and Sigourney Weaver. I'm usually the, the scrawny one. Scrawny no more, Winona Ryder toughens up for an alien encounter. The only preparation you can really do is the 
physical stuff because you can't apply any logic or reality to the situations you're in if you're in outer space and you're fighting aliens. And resurrection. Leave him. We're not leaving him here. He's got one inside of him. Look, we can't just leave him here. I thought you came here to stop him from spreading. What's inside, man? There's got to be a process. Can you stop it? I don't think you've made anything quite like this. No, I mean, I was really excited to even be asked because I, I don't think people usually think of me for stuff about science fiction or, or anything where I would have to handle a weapon or be tough or anything. I feel like I'm usually the, the scrawny one. It's true. Audiences aren't quite used to seeing a knife-wielding Winona. The 26-year-old actress is more commonly cast as the troubled youth, like in Beetlejuice or Mermaids or Heathers, or the proper young lady, like in The Age of Innocence. Shall we elope? <laughs> if you would, why not? You do love me, Newland. I'm so happy. But it's her latest role in Alien Resurrection that's actually a dream come true. Well, Ripley was one of my heroes growing up. I, I Ripley's a great character. I know. I was about eight or nine when I saw it, because it came out in 79, the first one, and, and I had never seen a woman survive at the end of a science fiction movie or action movie. So for me, as a girl, you know, she was a complete goddess hero. We're moving. What? The ship is moving. I can feel it. Tell me about working with Sigourney. She lived up to every expectation that I had. She is so... <clears throat> She has so much integrity, and, and she's so funny, and so uh, kind and intelligent, and just brings, she's so protective of her character, and really matters to her. It's not just another paycheck. How comfortable do you feel being Winona Ryder these days? I don't think about it too much. I just live my life, and, and um, you know, I've got my private life, and I've got my um, not too much of a public life. I mean, when these things happen, when I have movies coming out, I put myself out there, and that's kind of scary. No, no, no. Jill from CNN, Winona. Hi, Hi. Nice to meet you, Hi. Nice to meet you, Winona. I have um, live in San Francisco, and and um, you know, have a great family and a lot of great friends, and it's it's actually been really nice the last few years. I, I think I had a couple of real rough years in my late teens, early 20s, where I was very caught up in um, the pressures of being in the public eye at all. I think every like late teenager goes through an identity crisis, and then to go through an identity crisis in front of, mm -hmm. in magazines and, right. and in interviews. How do you deal with the, the role model thing? It's kind of the thing I use when I can, when it's good, and then when I don't like it, I don't like it. But you know, when I do a movie like Little Women, I'm like, oh, I'm such a good role model. Oh, everyone loves me. and. You know, and, and then when something else, you know, like smoking, I'm like, I'm not a role model. What are you talking about? You know, it's, but it's a weird, it's a very long discussion. But I want to do something different. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm on the watch for it. I really love what I do. It's, it's not just something that not I many say. Not say that. Yeah, and it's something that, I mean, I, I, I really, it's, it sounds, uh, impossible in a way but I mean there when I'm making a movie that I like which is most of the time I can't wait to get to work in the morning I mean but it's to the extent where I think it's annoying to some people because I was the kid on the set that was like oh, can you believe we're here can you, oh my god there's Sigourney Weaver oh my god should I say hi or should I wait till she says hi to me you know I was very very you know nervous in the beginning and I think <laughs> they probably got a little sick of it Filmmakers are hoping Winona attracts a new, younger generation of alien watchers. There's still more to come on this special edition of E! News Daily. Anne H. burst into the public spotlight when she came out of the closet with girlfriend Ellen DeGeneres. If I'm on the surface, if I'm on the surface, would I have slimy hair? Because I'm still a... And when I went into rehearsal or talked to the